the reason why I want to bring you on here is because you are so relatable and yeah. having to kind of unlearn the old ways and then having to kind of redo some new steps. And you also had a really beautiful transformation where you can see, wow, progress is really coming through on these photos. And so yeah. I just wanted to spotlight you and also just hear from your side because I can tell everyone telling blue in the face, all the ideas of how they can really start to sculpt and tone their bodies. But it's not until they also hear it from people like you where they're like, oh, if she can do it, well, I can do it too. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. What were the goals that you wanted before you started the Booty Bands Accountability Program? Um, I would say before I started, the goals I wanted was to um, lose my mom pudge. I had just had a baby. Uh, so, you know, snapback wasn't as easy because uh, I had a bit of um, ab separation, which I did not know about. Just really getting my stomach back how it was before I had my daughter and um, better eating habits. Um, that's something that I've struggled with, just making sure I'm getting the meals that I need to be getting and also protein. Before I came, protein was something that I lacked big. Um, so those were kind of the goals to just round all, get, get more in a sense healthy with eating and then, you know, lose that pudge. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Did you know that you were protein deficient beforehand or is that something you learned when you were in the program? Uh, I didn't realize how deficient I was in protein uh, until um, I started the program with all the knowledge and things uh, was definitely lacking so much protein. How did you want to reach your goals? I would say I wanted something that more so like fit within my life, uh, fit in um, me being a mom, me being a full time employee and an entrepreneur on the side as well. Something that was easy that I could easily just like, OK, meal prep this or put my pop my food in the microwave or have a quick snack on the go or um you know quick protein shake so something that's more like quick and it was easy to flow and fit in my life um I wanted it to be where I was getting lots of support I feel that when you're starting something new you need masses of support a good community a good um good coach with you as well uh, whether it's friends someone to keep pushing you and also keep your mind in a good state um, and just to learn and to enjoy different foods and new recipes and things like that. So um, definitely being open-minded to new things, but I wanted it to be something where it wasn't a struggle uh, even more. I would say it was definitely a struggle to um, get to where I am now, but um, like I said, with the amount of support and the great community that is here um, with the Booty and Bands, you know, community. So what are some things that you tried before that have failed you, whether it be diets or maybe workouts or just other programs in general? Um, I've tried working out, um, but I didn't really have much weight. So it was just working at working out at home with, um, you know, no equipment, using different YouTube videos, but um, nothing was like planned. Everything was more so sporadically. Um, so I just wasn't really seeing the results, but when I, you know, came to the program and there was more of structure, way more guidance and knowledge, as well as having a coach, just making sure, you know, you're sending your meals and you're doing the things that you, you know, should be doing, um, I would say. And then mindset, mindset was like a big thing for me being raised that I wasn't used to eating three meals a day before I came to the program. I was just or so all over the place with everything. <laughs> yeah. I remember our first call, you said one of your biggest struggles was ice cream. Um, I think yeah. another call that we had, you said another struggle that you had was time. With ice cream, it's crazy to say I've completely cut out ice cream. I don't even eat ice cream anymore. And I thought I couldn't do it, which is very, very big for me. So that's a, that's actually a big accomplishment of mine. Um, but far as time, I say now I meal prep. And um, whenever we have our sessions, you know, just being honest with you as my coach and um, just setting realistic goals in my life with when it comes to eating. And um, another thing you, you taught me from one of our sessions we had was 
don't think of meal as a full entree, full course, big meal. It could be, you know, a snack with, you know, you know, that has the proteins and all the nutrients and things that I need. And that can be my meal. You know, it doesn't have to be this big, huge meal we think of whenever it's like, okay, I got to eat a meal. And then before you know it, you don't even eat that meal because all you did was spend time overthinking and instead of just, you know, just doing it. The ones that are listening on the call where they just heard you say a biggest accomplishment was you getting off ice cream. Yeah. Hey, tell <laughs> us, because there's going to be a lot of people that are listening that are like, what was the secret on how you were able to really get over that? To be completely truthful, I think it was a mindset shift because um, my mind, there would be times when just thinking back, my mind would be like craving the ice cream. Of course, your body may you may want it, but when you, when your mind is stronger to know like, okay, you really don't, you don't need the ice cream, you know, you need your fruits and your veggies and, you know, all, you know, the fiber, the carbs and all that good stuff. Of course, there's not all ice cream is not bad ice cream, but, um, and then do into in moderation. So what I started to do was just eat less of it. And then when I would meal prep, it just didn't fit in my meals to even have it. So it just slowly and slowly just started to cut out of the diet. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You uh, mentioned on one of our calls that there's been a lot of lack of guidance just from the generations previous. How has that been from just zero of this kind of healthiness that's been given to you? And now you're having to learn that for yourself. Growing up, my mom, you know, she wasn't used to eating three times a day or uh, making sure we're getting the amount of protein and things. And so having my daughter has been like the biggest, I would say, motivation to say like, okay, I have to show her that, you know, it's not good to skip meals. It's not good to go all day without eating or eating one time a day. So really just being a great mo role model for her and um, the generations to come to let them know like, hey, you need to eat. It's okay to eat. You know, don't skip those meals. And um, a lot of times we may think if we skip meals or if we eat less, it's helping us or we're losing weight. But in all, it's you know, our body needs it, our bones need, you know, needs it to um, grow and different things like that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And what we could see in your progress photos is definitely a very big difference, especially in your waist. And that's, yeah. uh, we took measurements with each other and that's a total of three inches lost already yeah. in just your waist. So obviously that's a huge win, but tell us about if, if there's that or any other wins that you want to talk about that you've had so far. Um, I will definitely say just consistency uh, has been a win for me. And that's within my workouts. Um, Monday through Friday is typically how uh, I work out and I make sure it's consistently like it fits within my schedule. It's not something that's like, oh, I got to work out lately. I've been consistent with doing my meal preps. And it's actually fun when you learn to fall in love with the process of what you're doing. Um, and you remember your why it's like, you know, you start to enjoy it instead of it being such a stressor or something like that, where you're like dragging the process. But um, and then my waist going in, that's like a big one. And plus ice cream. I have not had ice cream. I went to the grocery store the other day. I almost bought some, but it's like, I don't even have the craving for it anymore. <laughs> yeah. There's a phrase I use all the time that your body follows your mindset. So oftentimes, you know, people will see obese people and just look at them like, oh my gosh, why can't you stop eating? Where right. when I look at them, I go, oh, what, what mindset breakthroughs can we have with one another? Ice cream is a comfort food, um, mm -hmm. as well as all the other sugar items and, you know, uh, AKA bad food items are essentially comfort. And so when we're feeling bad in life and we're just really going through the anxiety and stress and et cetera, then we'll lean towards that. And I remember on one of our calls that you and I had lavender. I remember you came in with a lot of anxiety and you were just kind of feeling that tense. And we did a little bit of just kind of working through that and being able to kind of bring you into a place of your truth, letting go of some of the old beliefs 
Because when we're young mm-hmm. and we're these little girls growing up in this big world full of all these ideas of dieting and what we need to look like and all these certain expectations that we put on ourselves, we create certain beliefs about us that maybe is I'm not enough, I'm yeah, not yeah. worthy, or I'm not lovable, or whatever all these false phrases are, but we end up creating these beliefs. And right. it was really about unlearning those. And it was really beautiful to be on that call with you as you were unlearning that. And you went to a place of, I am enough. And as soon as we got you into that place, I asked you, how do you feel? And you said, in ease. And mm-hmm. I said, okay, so now when you're in ease, what do you think your actions would be that you're feeling ease? And it's like, oh, well, then ice cream doesn't feel like it needs to be a thing when I'm in ease. But ice yeah. cream feels like a thing when I'm in anxiety, right? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. it really is beautiful how you nailed that. It really is such a, an important, beautiful role that a lot of people, when they come into sculpt and tone, and they're getting all these mindset lessons with me. And they're like, wait, why am I doing all this therapy when I would just want to <laughs> sculpt and tone? And I'm like, girl, your body follows your mindset. Leads me to my next question I have for you, Lavender, which is what does progression over perfection mean to you? To just make improvement and grow through the program or, you know, just in life in general, asking the necessary questions that need to be asked, whether you feel like it's a silly question or, you know, stupid question, just getting the knowledge you need to grow and make progress every day. Um, I would definitely say trust in the process because um, there would be times it's so crazy that my waist is winning three inches because sometimes I look at myself and you you don't really see it until you compare and you put those side by side. So just trust in the process um, and don't always strive to be perfect because, you know, we're human and just taking it one day at a time and um, trying to be as focused as you can with making progress each day versus striving to be perfect because it was definitely not an easy thing to, you know, let go of ice cream, but I made progression each day to let go of ice cream. Yeah. I like that. The progression, yeah. even with the ice cream. I like that. Yeah. Example of uh, progression over perfection can be instead of just going cold Turkey, cut the ice cream. What you're hearing from lavender is she's saying progression there. So, so an idea could be maybe you went to, instead of three scoops of ice cream, you went to one scoop of ice cream mm-hmm. and then maybe you had something healthy on the side of that. All right. Maybe it was a protein yeah. shake and ice cream right? because the restriction process can really just start to really kind of ticket ourselves when we're like telling ourselves, no, 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 no. Eventually yeah. that's all we're hearing is that restriction, which can be really, um, really, Ugh, terrible on our minds. Uh, so Lavender, I have a question for you. So mm-hmm. the last question I have is if somebody's listening to right now and they're just kind of in the same place that Lavender was previous to this program and they're just feeling like ice cream is just the only answer and they're just you kind of really fighting to get to their goals. They're doing all the things. They've tried all the programs and they're just struggling. What is something that you would from your heart? It almost kind of you could speak to like the old lavender, you know, mm-hmm. as you're kind of stepping into your new powered self. What would you say to her back then to just kind of whatever she needed to hear, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um I would say take it one day at a time you know, um, seek the necessary guidance and and knowledge you need, whether it's this program or another program. Um, Don't be afraid to invest in yourself. I felt when I, before I started, you know, sometimes you may look at the price, but when you think about yourself, you ask yourself, am I worth it? Which you are. So invest in yourself and, um, you know, just you're doing a great job. One, start there. Let yourself know you're doing a great job. Sometimes we beat ourselves up and we're like, I'm doing so horrible in life and I haven't made any progress or anything, but, you know, just acknowledge where you are and um, look, you know, seek what you need to seek to get the necessary knowledge and help or guidance to be the best version of yourself. And um, no, you're not alone. You know, you have others who may be in the same situation as you or same position as you. Um, so it's always, you know, good to connect with others as well, but, um, and join the program. It's a really, really great program to join. I would definitely say that as well. If you're thinking about it, you're listening and you're like, uh, I've been wanting to join, but I've been putting it off to next year. Don't, don't wait. You know, tomorrow isn't promised. So invest in yourself because, you know, we all deserve the best. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Two of the points that really came up for me that I hear oftentimes with our members is 
investing in yourself because at some point you get so down on yourself Mm -hmm. and a lot of them are caretakers or caregivers or nurturers as moms. We're always trying to give, 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 give. And oftentimes we just don't have enough to really give to us. And uh, so I I really liked that because oftentimes if you see a program, you are looking at the price and you're just like, well, I'm not worth that. And then all you're doing is just continuing to put yourself further and further down so that nothing Mm -hmm. around you is improving. And so I really liked that. The other thing that I said is being able to surround yourself with a community and being able to have that support. And so everybody that's listening right now, we do have a free Facebook group. If you're feeling lost, if you're feeling like you just don't have anybody, you don't really have that positive support, I'm telling you, Booty Bands and Barbells Facebook group is by far the most uplifting supportive group of women. Because here, I'll tell you this, I oversee the whole group. And if there's one person that's not being uplifted and supporting, they're out, (laughs) they're gone. I won't even allow that in our community. And so, you know, with my full support and, and I, my word, you have my word that I will make sure that that is a place of support and positivity and it's free. So come in, join us. We'd love to support you through your journey. And I just wanted to say a huge shout out to Lavender right now. She was able to do her very first interview podcast ever. So congratulate (laughs) her on the call and congratulate. I'm just going to brag about Lavender for a moment. You guys, she's lost three inches already. How long have you been in the program so far? It was it about December? Yeah, yeah, it hasn't been too long because I believe it was either right after my birthday or right before my birthday I joined. So uh, in about so, uh, two to three months, look at this progress already, you guys. That she's already being able, and here's the thing, Lavender's not really that big. She's actually really quite petite. So yeah. in order to lose three inches in your waist when you're already petite is like, I don't know if I've had a petite girl yet <laughs> lose that much in her waist. It's a really phenomenal. And so it's really inspiring. It's really encouraging. And one of the beautiful things we had on our calls is that you're going to be changing your future generations with your new knowledge. And I just mm-hmm. wanted to say thank you for being that ripple effect into the rest yeah. of the world, the rest of life. That's such a big deal. And just really yeah. appreciate you for that. So thanks for showing yeah. up. Yeah. And thank you for your time and this opportunity here. It was definitely definitely a great experience to do this. I <laughs> love it. If you are interested in the Sculpt and Tone accountability program with Coach Danita, go ahead and click the link down below and schedule a call with a coach now. There are limited spots available and we do need full commitment. If you're ready for a transformation, if you're ready for inches to be lost and you're ready for it to be easier, then this is your sign. Let's get started.